Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be continuing our budget, mid-budget, no-budget builds uh, around is it Sahili or is it Drake's. So the first video went up, the ultra-budget version, so this featured nothing but uncommons and commons other than the mana base of four steam vents, four sulfur falls, which in a pinch you can always play with just tap lands, but usually you want to focus on your mana base, especially in a two-color deck. Uh, just to make sure you curve out properly. Um, so I know we did a couple other series and there is a lot more that we can build out in terms of a mid-budget and no-budget. With Is It Drake's, because the deck is relatively cheap to begin with, there's not too many upgrades. Um, so what we're going to be playing is kind of a mid, fully optimized list. So this list came from the Arena Cup. Uh, I think it finished second place. So this is built around Is It Phoenix. So it plays a similar style, but the card that you're going to be playing around is called Arclight Phoenix. So basically the the, the goal of this deck is you want to dump your phoenixes into your graveyard with cards like Charter Course, Radical Idea that gets jump started, Tormenting Voice. And then you play a bunch of cheap spells that get even cheaper with Goblin Electromancer to just cycle through, and then you get a bunch of phoenixes back, they attack with haste, it's hard for the opponent to deal with unless they have Cry a Carnarium, uh, they just keep coming back. You still have the Drake fe uh, feature, and you still have Sahili. Uh, they, he was playing a few uh, less copies than what we were playing in the full uh, Is It Drake's, and we're not playing Enigma Drake in our version. So on the main board, uh, you're pretty much just adding in uh, the four Mythics here, and then two Mythics in Finale of Promise. So this is one of the new War of the Spark cards that has also been included. So basically for X2... Or in some cases, yeah, so you want to do at least X2, so then you could get an instant and a sorcery. Um, and you can basically, one card will trigger the Arclight Phoenixes, as long as your graveyard is full. So it's an interesting way to kind of fill it that way. The sideboard itself is Spell Pierce, Disdainful Stroke, uh, Narset's Reversals used against like the Nexus matchups to kind of counter their spells. Uh, you have the Negates, Lava Coils, Narset's. And then Fiery Cannon, like we had, you're adding Niv, and you're adding Entrancing Melodies. So we'll get started, we'll play a couple matches, and see how it goes. Let me go quiet the dog in the meantime, and we'll go! Sorry about that. So we'll jump right in. So let me know as well in the comments. Um, we'll be wrapping up Is It Phoenix now, um, like the Is It decks. Uh, I was thinking of doing Gruul next as a couple builds, but if there's any other kind of theme that you want to see, we've already done Demir and we've done Orzov. So we've done Demir Control and uh, Orzov or Black White Aristocrats, as well as Knights uh, in those builds. So just trying to get uh, get together what the the end viewers want to see. So drop a comment if there's anything you are interested in. Um, so this hand's not too bad. Uh, we'll keep opponents on the play. So depending on what they're doing, we might opt to shock to shock. <laughs> um, take them off an elf or something early. So with this hand, it would be better with an Electromancer and two. But we can start digging with Tormenting Voice. Opponent is taking their time. So for those of you who, while well, our opponent decides what land they want to play on turn one, uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, we play everything uh, from tier one decks to uh, janky combos. Uh, I've been working on this series to kind of get users a, a feel of what decks individuals can play on varied budgets and then upgrade over time. Um, so we occasionally will stream live and uh, on YouTube, uh, sometimes on Twitch. I usually send out a tweet before every time at MTG underscore Joe 2. Um, but all my content is included on the YouTube channel, MTG underscore Joe. So make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying. Um, as well as if you want to join the conversation, I'm really active on the Arena subreddit. Answering questions, brewing with people on the site. Um, it's the best way to kind of get into touch. So here are the opponent's chart, of course. I'm going to do this now. 
reason being uh, against mono blue, uh, I don't want to get that countered. So we'd like some pressure. Mono blue is actually probably a tough matchup. They have the disruption plus a number of flyers. So the Phoenix, and they have flyers with four toughness, which makes it a bit harder. The tormenting voice does telegraph that we're on some sort of Phoenix Drake's plan. So you want to be mindful because the additional cost is the discard. So you discard and your opponent can counter it. Uh, this opponent, this opponent. If they're still playing slow within a turn or two, I'm just going to drop this one and then uh, play another league. There's no sense of us waiting forever for our opponent to play lands. So, what are you guys playing right now? I've been playing a lot of uh, ranked with uh, the Black White Knights deck still. Still tends to be my favorite. Uh, here we're going to hold up the Radical Idea and the Shock. I think that would be the best play on their turn. Yeah, so I've been playing Black White Knights a lot. I've been enjoying it. Want to try out the Esper midrange list that's been going around. Uh, a lot of guys that I know uh, locally have been playing it to relative success. Uh, so we'll just leave it like that. So here I'm going to Tormenting Voice, discard the land. We'll see if they have a Spell Pierce or something. Okay, so Crackling Drake. Um... Same idea. I think we'll just radical idea the land away. Ooh, opponents on mill. So this is actually much better for us. Uh, they will help us put our phoenixes into the yard. The terramander mill. Okay, that's fine. We didn't want those cards. Uh, I'm probably gonna... Yeah, I think mana efficiency wise, let's radical idea. Uh, yeah, we could just get rid of steam vents. Okay, and the beacon bolts. So the phoenix is good here. Uh, let's see what they have. So I think the Drake presents the, the fastest clock. Okay, so next turn we could chart a course. And then if we draw a land finale for two, get back the Phoenix. Or probably just if we draw a land, discard one of the Phoenixes, play a Phoenix. weird to see Pateramander in a deck with Drown Secrets. Usually you want to be either more control or you want to be more aggressive. Opponent's got to make sure they play their right Ixalan land. Couldn't have it any other way. Ah. Uh. Alright, so here, let's start off with Charter Course. Gives us the most information about the turn. After this game, I'm just going to concede the match. Uh, just in the interest of time, this opponent's playing really slow. And this isn't really a top tier deck, so it's not the best representation. Uh, what I had like to have the Sahili. Okay, so I think we. So 
so here we have two Phoenix. So that's nine. That gets it to ten. That's sixteen. Um, so let's just... Yeah, let's just cast this for zero. And then this way we attack for 16. So, opponent needs sleep, basically. That's fine. Another Phoenix. See what they got. And they're dead. So that was a good showing of the deck. Opponent didn't really interact, but you got to see how we turn through, and their deck's probably the worst matchup for us, for them. Um, like I mentioned, uh, we'll see if they're any faster. This matchup, Spell Pierce is decent, Negate, Narsets. I'm a little worried of Niv, uh, the reason being um, it's a, not a May ability. Uh, take out the lava coils. Take out the tormenting voice. Just run it like this. I don't really care about Pateramander that much. At worst, it just trades with one of our creatures. This opponent. Okay. They're taking way too long. We'll run it back with someone. Uh, just give him the win for the day. But let's play. Let's play someone who actually wants to play. Mind you, they probably play Ashiok in that build, which is rough against us. We didn't see it that game. But if they're not playing that main, that seems silly to begin with. It's definitely one of those cards you want. Right, we'll play first. This hand's good. Would have ideally liked a one drop, like an opt, but mind you, we wouldn't have been able to cast the opt on turn one. Uh, so we need to decide against what we're up against if we want to tormenting voice on two or wait and play Sahili and then tormenting voice. So we'll just play the the mountain right now. Mountain camouflage is what we are. Okay, so green base deck. I'm actually going to hold off for now. We'll play Sahili next turn and then go from there. So this could be Gruel. Okay, so they play the elf. I'm going to hold the opt as well. So even Gruel Spellbreaker won't be enough to kill Sahili here. Nullhide Ferox will be bad. That's certainly frightening. So let's opt. Wanna hit a land here?
to keep both of these. The beacon bolt can be useful. And just pass the turn. So Illarog or the, the pig is going to be frightening at instance or at haste. Or just the biogenic is also quite frightening. We do have the lava coil, which is good. They keep it on top. Let's just block like this. Uh, so here, I'm just gonna lava coil the biogenic ooze. As well, let's tormenting voice the radical idea since we can flash it back anyways. Perfect. Hit the land drop for turn. Pass. As long as they don't bring out some tramplers, we're okay. Gotta get the Samud off the table. A Phoenix would be good. They likely hate... Uh... This ability seems quite redundant with the static ability. Give it Everything has haste, but then you also give a creature haste. Okay, so they have the Phoenix. So a bit worse there. I have lost too much to allow you Don't have the lava coil. So we need to try to dig for that or a Drake. Learn from this. So we're in a pretty bad spot now. Uh or not. So here, let's just attack in. I will never bow to you. Uh, here. Do we just want to keep digging? So we, I think we just do this. Another Sahili's good. We can lava coil and either like opt or discovery, depending on what we want to do. Opponents finding as many ways possible to haste out their creatures. Like with the so much not as relevant anymore since they have the rhythm. We can see Healy next turn. And just Beacon Bolt. Okay, so some let's no more. We keep it on top. So this gives us an opening to attack Zhaneng. So let's just get this off the table. Just makes things bigger. World is lacking kindness. We will beacon bolt. So we ended up being more of a control deck this game so far. Haven't had that same like Phoenix draw. Okay, that's terrifying. So we can shock. Shock, Lava Coil, Shock. Seems good. There is no peace and defeat. This has flying. Okay. 
So, finale for two. Let's take Opt. Let's take Lava Coil. So let's cast Opt. Let's cast Lava Coil. I don't think we want Tormenting Voice. Okay, Phoenix is good. We can Radical Idea it out. We can also start having our Servos copy. I actually really like Finale in this build. That was 4 mana, cast 3 spells, get 3 Servos. We'll just end the turn here. want to keep the Shock in case they play another Sarkin out. Some mud. Initiate. You are not worthy. Just kill this. Going this game without actually showing any of our Phoenix is actually pretty good. All right. So in this match up. Melodies seem good. Another lava coil. Disdainful stroke and I think that's it. So what are we taking out? Uh probably chart a course or tormenting voice. Let's get rid of Tormenting Voice. And maybe... You know, maybe let's go down the Phoenixes in this build and then keep the Nivs in. Because they have uh, both Sarkin and um, Rekindling Phoenix. This just dies a lot. So I think we're okay there. The question is, do we want to bring in negates, play more of a control game? I think we just go full control deck. Bring in that, and... Cannonade might be relevant. Or we'll bring in a Narset. It'll distract them. Let's try this out. They have Rhythm of the Wild, but we don't really have creature counters instead. Uh, so this will keep Discovery, Disdainful Stroke, we have Shock. So, really wish we could have shocked that on one. Hey there. Let me know if you find any cool new plants. So, they got the jungle. Uh, here. Still probably get away with it for a turn. Actually, let's hold off. We can hold up the Stainful Stroke and then just Radical Idea. Uh, so we are going to counter that for sure. Don't want to make all his guys cheaper. There is a play for Entrancing Melodies here, but mana-wise, let's just do this. It slows them down. Let's try to dig for another red source. Oh, I do not want, do 
not want those. Second Niv is probably the worst draw we could have had here. Okay, so Steam Vents is nice. This lets us cast Crackling Drake, draw a card, and hopefully gets us closer to Niv. Sahili's also nice. So here, we're one short of stealing the Phoenix. So we'll just play out Sahili here. We could Radical Idea, copy, but it doesn't get haste, so we're fine there. Okay, that's also scary. That's not indestructible, but that's fine. Crackling Drake blocks, and then we steal it. If we could keep making tokens, we can just block God Eternal Rodas. Sure, what the opponent's thinking about. Opponent's really thinking about this, so we'll see what they go with. Come on. I believe in you, opponent. the opponent attack they don't let's just make it lava coils also very interesting here so lava coil lets us smack them for a lot so we can lava coil this copy it Copy Drake, hit them for 14. Sounds like a good time. I actually really like this deck. Gotta try it and play it a bit more. I might want to go up a third Sahili. They only have two, but it, Sahili's felt great every time we've cast it in this deck. Entrancing Melodies is a card that's very, very good against gruel based strategies. They that typically have under costed threats. So, this is my favorite thing to do with the deck. Genius is as genius does. And hit the opponent for 14. Uh, we can hit them for 16 with the radical idea. Let's do that.
Oh, actually, that doesn't do anything. That was my error. Because it goes into exile. One, two... Ah, anyways, they're dead if they don't have a flyer. Don't think we need to overthink this one too much at this point. Even at a certain point, just with Sahili tokens. So Rekindling Phoenix doesn't work because they still die to the copy. They need Lava Coil. Yeah, so if they don't have Lava Coil, they can't win. And because game one we didn't show any Phoenixes, they may have thought we were a creatureless control deck. Which is my idea for the next one. We're going to be playing Blue-Red Super Friends. And opponent concedes. So decent showing. We didn't get to necessarily do the Phoenix stuff that game, but it still seemed quite impressive. Um, because people have asked, I want to run each of these decks also in a best of one, uh, just to see how they fare. Um, it just helps me better to provide feedback on what I think is working and not working. Uh, so here we will keep shock on one, play opt, try to dig for a land, radical idea on two, Sahili on three. Keep. Pass the turn. See if we're up against mono red, if we are. Cry. Okay. So this could be the Jeskai friends list. So we're just going to play this out now. They're more likely to have a counter on three than they are two. This may be the same list. I'm just going to throw a Phoenix down this turn. Or actually, let's just go Drake. They're more likely to have a shock than they would anything else. Okay, so here, next turn we can throw Phoenix into the bin and then opt and shock, get everything back. That's fine. I'd rather they lose, use the lava coil there. So here, let's chart a course. If we draw another Phoenix through all this. Okay, so we're gonna Radical Idea. Phoenix. And then we'll opt. I don't want that. So unfortunately, these trigger on the beginning of combat, so we can't copy them. But attack opponent. So they shock one. So that was the proper play that game, that turn at least, it would appear. But we're starting to threaten the opponent. Okay, so they're playing the finale version as well. Which is fine. So here, Electromancer. Discovery. Uh, 
Radical idea. Flashback radical idea. So that's why we left it on the uh, discovery. Uh, here I'm going to put the discovery in the bin and keep the crackling drake on top. Attack the opponent for five. And the turn. Next turn, we play Drake, copy it, kill the opponent. Uh, Augur, I do not like Augur in these builds. Okay, so they have the Drake. Which is fine. So here we play Crackling Drake, play out the land, you copy you. I like to think fast. So here are, uh, yeah, let's attack with everything. They'll probably just block one with the Yogger. Okay, so they block the Phoenix. Okay, so we have the shot. I was gonna shock the Crackling Drake, but we're not here to do math. We're here to kill our opponent. So that's really how the Phoenix decks go. All right, so that's pretty much the deck. Um, we played a couple of matches, pretty much won all of them. Um, seems really powerful and relatively not that expensive to build. Um, from a quick look, it is, sorry, give me a sec, 6 Mythics, 15 Rares, which for arguably a pretty strong deck is not that expensive. Um, I'll do the full write-up with this, the Ultra Budget and the non-budget, the kind of blue-red Super Friends build. So kind of more variations of the deck as opposed to like just progressive building. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, and if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great one.